This is the beginning version of Single T with Pilot. He's done fetch to the pile. Now he's going to demonstrate what it looks like with a after he gets a little bit going on the single T. It's really pretty to watch a dog like this enjoy what a lot of times people think is a drudgery. It's not drudgery. It's a wonderful thing if you do it in a way that it develops confidence and power in the dog. This is the step that every retriever must do perfectly in order to be able to teach them other things because retrievers learn by handling. That's how you teach. You teach by handling. You show them what you want by handling. So without this step being really in good shape, it's pretty hard to teach them much unless you're using correction as the way to teach. Now the next thing we're going to demonstrate here with Pilot is the single point blind. And what Mike is doing here is walking out to the single point blind and letting Pilot sort of roam around a little bit. And uh, this is a wonderful, once they understand the concept of the single point blind, which is described in the advanced retriever DVD series, uh, it's just a, it makes teaching blinds and running blinds so easy and so dynamic in terms of how they actually perform. So that's the beginning version of a single point blind with an English pointer named Pilot. Hold, back to home plate. We're also, because this is a pointer, going to be working on pointing. Mike is trying to teach him not to move to woe. A lot of people think you can't do this with a pointer. You can't teach him to sit and then teach him to not sit when they're pointing. But actually that's not true. As you can see, he's no in intention of sitting. Even though he knows to sit, he's not going to sit. Beautiful. Okay. 